today, we will be discussing the differences between the two. Functionality is one of the most important things to consider when searching for the right material. Marble has a very desirable look, but is porous in nature, making it more susceptible to stains and etching. I uh, zoomed in on the moon. Uh, it was not, not quite a full moon, not even close. But one thing I saw at about the 36 second mark in that video was what seemed to be a bird flying by. You all right? Yes, I think so. What do you suppose made it do that? That's the damnest thing I ever saw. I don't know, it seemed to swoop down at you deliberately. I found that to be a little odd because we're told, according to the heliocentric model, that one, the moon is supposed to be a distance of around 239,000 miles away, and two, that there are supposedly thousands of satellites between the Earth and the moon, and those are supposed to be observable, just as observable as some people say that the International Swimming Station is in the air. Uh, I was uh, in a parking lot, decided to get out and get some footage of the moon. I, lo and behold, once again, I saw a bird fly in front of the moon or some other winged creature. Alright, one more time. Let's try 25% speed. I'd, I'd have to ask you, was that a bird or some other winged creature? You know, these are questions that we need to ask ourselves. Who's taking these drugs? What would be the point? I'm asking questions. If the moon's supposed to be so far away, why is it that we can see birds between us and the moon, but we can't see any of those satellites that are supposed to be up there? Since, you know, the 70s, we've been sending satellites out into orbit, and they should be swarming the night sky, and we should always see these satellites moving in front of the moon. We see birds flying between the moon and the Earth. So I gotta ask you, where are those satellites? Why don't we ever see them? A satellite and a bat are two very different things. One is a small rodent, easily viewable with a naked eye as it flies a few hundred feet above your head at about 10 to 20 miles an hour. A satellite is a mechanical box buzzing around the Earth a few thousand miles above your head at 100,000 miles an hour. The truth is, your P900 does not have the zoom nor the resolution to do what you're asking of it. Any satellite you get would be nothing more than a pixel at best, and I highly doubt you would notice it. That being said, with the proper equipment, research, and enough patience, you can take a photo of a satellite.